extremely excited about the pancreas program. It has been a work in progress for the last year and a half of time. By adding pancreas transplant to the solid organ transplant program, it completes uh, heart, lung, liver, kidney, and now, of course, the pancreas transplantation. Uh, Mr. Law was actually an ideal candidate for transplant. He had type 1 diabetes. About 30 some odd years ago, found out just out of nowhere I was diabetic. As it progressed, it got worse. My sugars were out of control. They would, I could sit and just talking with my family or my wife, my sugar would drop. Mr. Law had a type of diabetes known as brittle diabetes. His blood sugars fluctuated dramatically, kind of irrespective to his insulin management. And his diabetes was so difficult to manage that he had his family wake him up every two hours at night to make sure that his sugars were still in normal range. You know, when your sugar drops to levels of 30 where he was at, you can actually die in your sleep. So he was a very dangerous diabetic. The pancreas is an organ that sits in the middle of the abdomen. It has many functions, but two main things. It produces hormones like the insulin, so it controls your sugar, and it also produces proteins that help digest the food. We waited close to a year, and they called and said, hey, we've got a donor. We got to Loyola, and the doctors, the emergency room, everybody was just ready. Doing a pancreas transplant on Mr. Law as a type 1 diabetic cures his diabetes because now he has the organ that produces the insulin that um, he needs to control his sugars. The pancreas surgery for me has just been phenomenal because I, I can do things now that I was, wasn't able to do. You're my hero. <laughs> he has a huge a smile and his face every time he comes to the clinic. It's just a pleasure to see him and it's enjoyable just to see how he is really enjoying his organ. Nothing gives the transplant team more satisfaction than seeing a patient off insulin, off medications, with the ability to do everything that they previously may have not been able to do because of the restrictions of their disease.